In this video, we're going to learn how to use the find command in Linux. So as you can see, I have the Dolphin File Explorer open on the left side of the screen so that it is easier for us to visualize how the command works. So as you can see, I'm currently in the documents directory. Now, let us start by looking for a file or a directory with a name given. So in this example, let's try to look for the folder find tutorial. All we have to do is type in find the current directory and give it the option or parameter name followed by the name that we want. So as you can see, it shows us that there is a file with the name find tutorial. We can also use wildcards in case that we are not sure or we are not aware of the full name of the file that we are looking for. Now, let us move into the find tutorial folder and look at the files within. Now, as you have noticed, we have multiple text files and Python files with similar names. This is where find and wildcard characters come in handy. So let's say we want to find all the files that contains the name doc. We can use find followed by the current path, followed by the parameter name, and in quotes, we put doc followed by a star. We can also do the same for files that contains the word script. Now, let's look at how we can search for files using the dash type parameter. We can search for files or folders using the dash type parameter and passing in the type of file that we are looking for. D stands for directory or F for file. So if we pass in find current path dash type D, it will return the folders in the current directory as well as the subfolders within those directories. Similarly, if we type in dash type F, it will return all the files in the current directory as well as the files in these subdirectories. We can also combine the two name and type parameter to find specific folders or files. For example, let's say we want to find the folder Python. So we can pass in the name parameter with Python and the type to be a directory. So it will so it will return the exact folder for us. Next, let's look at how we can use mindap and maxdap. The value that you provide into mindap will be the folder level that it starts looking for files. So for example, we can see that the Python folder contains multiple Python files within and there is another subdirectory called level 2. So in my terminal, I will confirm that I am currently in the find tutorial directory. Now, I'm going to use find starting from the current directory and passing in a min depth value of 2 followed by the file name containing a .py extension it will return all the files within the Python directory or the text directory and below. Notice that all the current script files within this directory is not returned. Similarly, if we increase the mean depth by 3, it will further go down a level. So now, it is only showing all the Python scripts that are located within the level 2 folder, which is a subfolder within the Python directory. Now in contrast, the max tab will set a limit to the level of folders that find will look for. Now if we use find starting from the current directory and look for files that contains the extension.py, it will return the files in the current directory, in the subdirectories, and in subdirectories under the, those subdirectories. If we set a max tab value, it will limit the level of directories that find will look for. So let's say that we set the max step level to 2. As you can see, the scripts that are under the level 2 subdirectory, which is within the Python directory, is not showing up. This is because we have set the max step equal to 2. Now, let's look at how we can use the dash exact 
parameter to execute commands on the folders or files that we have successfully returned using the find command. First, let's take a look at all the files and folders within our find tutorial directory. So as you can see, within our Python directory, we have another subdirectory level 2 as well as multiple Python scripts in this directory. Within the level 2 directory, we can see more Python scripts. If we head back and look into the text folder, we can see that there are multiple text documents and a Python script. Similarly, there is another subdirectory within this text directory, which is also named level 2 and contains multiple text files. If we want to delete all the Python files within this whole tree folder, we can simply do that by using find, starting from the current directory, followed by the parameter name, and we pass in the wildcard.py to indicate that we only want to search for files that ends with .py and we pass in the parameter .exec. Now, we pass in the command that we want to run after dash exec, which would be rm dash f, followed by the curly braces to indicate the files that we have found, a forward slash and a semicolon to indicate that this is the end of the line. Now, if we run this, you can see that all the Python scripts have been deleted from our tree. We can also use maxdep and mindep to set the level of directories to search and delete. Now let's say that we only want to remove the files within two levels of the tree. We can set the maxdep to 2, change the name to end with .txt and execute our command accordingly. Now if we go in, we can see that the text files within our sub subdirectory is still there. It is not deleted as we have set the max step only to, to only two levels. So that's it for this tutorial. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Bye.